Okay, so flip lesson four, Charles Law. So we have our top part. Remember, if you need more help, please watch Mr. Darmody's uh, problems. He's going to go over the example problems on here. So you do need to get those done, and I'm going to go over one random problem throughout your worksheet. So, of course, the first thing that we need to know is that as we need to state Charles Law. So Charles Law means that as volume increases, so does temperature. And the opposite is also true. So as volume dis decreases, so does temp. So they have a relationship that is considered proportional. All right. Does that make sense? All right. Continuing to go through. Okay. In order for this to be true, we have to have pressure held at a constant. So pressure, not pressure, is held at, con at a constant. Now, it only works, so temperature has to be recorded. Remember, we have temperature, and when we deal with it in science, it can be in Celsius or it can be in Kelvin. For, it to, for Charles' law to work, it has to be in Kelvin. So in order to convert Kelvin, you take whatever your degree is Celsius and add 273 to equal our Kelvin units. And remember, Kelvin is with a K. So for instance, when we look at 100 degrees Celsius, so 100 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals 373 Kelvin. And it's that simple. So Kelvin is the easiest to convert to. And the easiest to convert from. Uh, so obviously, if we look at this one, so negative 273 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals 0 Kelvin, which is absolute 0. Now, absolute 0 is something that we have not necessarily seen in science, but it is something that you that is possible, where everything is completely frozen at absolute 0. All right, moving on. So remember, example problems are covered by Mr. Darmody. If you watch his, you'll be able to get the answers to those and help you out. So moving on, let's do number seven on the back. So on hot days, you may notice that potato chip bags seem to inflate, even though they have not been opened. So if a 0.25 liter bag at a temperature of 19 degrees Celsius. If I leave it in my car and the temperature goes up to 60 degrees Celsius, what is the new volume of the bag? All right. So remember, pressure stays constant. And if we look at our formula, we can set this up. So remember, volume of 1 over temperature of 1 equals volume of 2 over temperature of 2. So we are, our givens are first volume, so 0.25 liters over 19 degrees Celsius. But remember, 19 plus 273, because it only works with this if we are in Kelvin. So 19 plus 273 is going to be a 292 Kelvin. And this equals, so we don't know what our volume is, but we know it's 60 degrees Celsius. So 60 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals our 333 Kelvin. All right. So our first, our second step, now that we've converted degrees Celsius to Kelvin, 
is going to be to do this problem. All right. So get out a calculator, figure out what the answer is. So once we do this, we have our answer of point zero 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 eight six. And so now what we need to do is multiply. We will now multiply both sides by 333 because that gets rid of this. We multiply by 333. So this number multiplied by 333 gives us our answer of V equals 0.29 liters. It is our new volume. So this is our answer. So remember, so here are your steps. So step one, convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Step two, set up or set up sides, set up formula. slash calculate left side step three is now we find our unknown on the right side and we will multiply or divide depending on what we're looking for so in this one we're going to multiply by our both sides sorry both sides by our known and that gives us our answer now if we're looking if it, if an example if we have our volume and we're looking for our temperature that means that we will be dividing both sides by our known but that is only that is only the case if we're looking for our temperature and not our volume. Okay, so watch both this one and Mr. Darmody's for help and answers on your worksheet. Uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any trouble with this. This is your last one for this week. After you are done, you're good to go. Talk to you guys later.